If you are against gay marriage, why are you against it? This should be R, too afraid to answer. For a moment I really thought that there will be some real answers. I am in agreement with all of the top comments but I do not understand why they are not answering. The question that was asked? If you don't oppose gay marriage, and don't have some kind of insight as to why some people do, then why are you, answering? I thought this sub was supposed to be about people asking, sometimes difficult, questions and getting real answers. Not people asking questions and commenters using the opportunity to soapbox. I'm not against it, but I come from a pretty homophobic household so I might be able to provide some insight. My mom is Catholic and she believes that if you are gay that God calls you to a life of celibacy. She thinks marriage was designed by God only for man and woman. She also believes that it is not a sin at all to be gay. It's only a sin to act on it. My dad thinks it's icky. My sister-in-law is also Catholic and thinks even gay thoughts are a sin. I want to reiterate that these are not my views. Just my family's. Because no gays wants to marry me cries. People here down voting people who actually answer the question. I'm not against homosexual people getting married. But I am somewhat against the use of the term, gay marriage, as if it is a different thing. When two people who love each other want to bind that love through marriage, they should be allowed to do so regardless of their orientation, origins, race, creed, religion, or political views. The rest of us should only comment to wish them well. Life is too short and true love is too rare to keep this labeling and segregation going. If everyone would just start calling it marriage and move on to more pressing matters, that would be great. I know a lot of people might criticize my views but since you asked, I'm providing mine, as a Muslim that is fairly modern and educated, who also consumes lots of westernized materials daily. I do understand why a lot of Muslims are seen as homophobics. There's this thing called, Akita which can be seen as the principles that we have to live by. We live by Al-Quran and Asana, never changing guidance till the end day. Al-Quran is the words of Allah. In it, there are words specifically spoken about same-sex relationships. It is strictly forbidden. Haram. There's also a surah, Surah al hayr which details on the people of Prophet Luth and how Allah has punished them for homosexuality. Other surah s also mentioned about homosexuality. In other words, some people are against gay marriage specifically because they are religious. Regardless of what religion that is. Personally, I'm not against it, unless you act on it. When we embrace a religion, we can't choose to follow some rules that favor us while neglecting others. So it's acceptable if, as a Muslim, you have gay tendency and decided to sleep on it. However, it's a different story if you decided to sleep around. Engage in same-sex sexual relationships. Do things that are clearly forbidden by Allah. I'm not saying just for gay people, but sex before marriage for anyone. Zina is a major sin. Haram. In short, I'm against it because it is what I live by but I wouldn't go around and cursing people for being gay, online and offline. In Islam, there are three levels of preventing munkar. Sinful activities. First, using hands which to do something. Mostly for people of powerful positions. Secondly, using mouth which is to address, advise on the issue to that person. X. A mother telling her son what he did wrong. Why he shouldn't do it. Worst could happen etc with good intentions. And thirdly, to hate it with heart meaning that in my heart, I dislike the thing that happens but not actually do anything except for praying for them. The weakest type. I choose the third on daily basis. TLDR. I'm neutral on this matter. By my religion, 
I am against gay marriage but wouldn't act on it. If you're my friend, I might advise you and offer help in any way I can because I don't want you to go astray. If you're a Muslim, I wouldn't go out of my way to spread hatred nor discriminate these people just because I believe differently. You do you as long as you're happy with your choices. Disclaimer. I'm not a scholar. Just a Redditor writing away so I apologize in advance if any of my words offend you. If God intended a man to marry another man, then one of the people who wrote the Bible would have explicitly said so when they were fabricating all of the other stories. I'm not against it but I live in Utah and work in a conservative industry so I've heard plenty of people talk about it. The most common reason is simply religious disapproval and disgust and that's typically the root of any other reasons they give as well. The next most common reasons are slippery slope fears about anything from the government forcing the church to perform same-sex marriages up to full-blown conspiracy theories. Can we make a new in spoken Reddit rule that only real answers get upvoted for this kind of thing? Tired of all the, I'm not, but I can provide insight, responses. Why settle for gay marriage when you could have gayer marriage? I'm against all marriage. Time to sort by controversial. I am gay and am married. But your stipulation of not being able to use Bible verses is odd. I submit that we don't have to accept the Bible verse as legitimate or enforceable. But if it is the why for the person, then that is just a fact. I may have a good way to explain it. For that, I'm gonna quote OP's answer to a different comment. What makes them so uncomfortable about it though? It's two humans going about their lives together. I happen to know someone, originally from Germany, who had to jump through tons of hoops, including spending tons of hard-earned money, changing documents, leaving the country, cutting off friends, etc., just to be with the person he loves. How can this happen in a modern world? You'd ask? That person happens to be his sister. Both in their early 30s now. Well-educated. As normal as can be. Such relationships are illegal in Germany. You have two adults going about their lives together. But now watch the vast majority of Reddit rationalize that it's wrong. But disabled babies. When the relationship became serious. He got a vasectomy. Still illegal to be together in most countries. And anyway. That's not even what's punished by law. Just being together is. Why are people with genetic disorders allowed to be together if that's the reason? It's sick. Disgusting. Other than with gay people. You literally can't tell the difference unless you look in their documents. That don't exist anymore. They have the same parents. Bad luck. It's not a choice. Just pick a different partner. Why though? If they love each other? They don't identify as brother and sister. It's not a fetish thing. Calling them siblings will instantly make them cut off contact with you. It's basically like dead naming a trans person. That's why only very few people know. The reason why some people are against gay marriage is quite simple. Deep inside is this, EU, feeling. This feeling needs to be overcome. And that's why LGBT movements are important to change society. Of course, it can be used the opposite way. Look at Russia. For many regular Russians, not to end up with a bunch of F-words of the street. Interview quote, is enough to justify going to war, against Western satanic values, and dying. Even though, you know, no one is forcing you to be gay yourself. Don't underestimate the EU feeling. It's much stronger than any rationale. When confronted, you try to rationalize any way you can. And even when you can't, the EU feeling just tells you to ignore rationale and simply accept that, if it makes me, EU, it's wrong. And then some go and vote ferrite parties just because gay people make them go, EU, and the 
parties capitalize on that. Humans suck. You'd think tolerating consenting adults living their lives in peace would be an easy thing. I guess most people are arguing over the definition. Group A thinks marriage is a legal bond for making partners and creating babies. At least aim for a conventional family. Group B thinks marriage means sharing your life with your loved one. Also get a legal bond. Without any responsibility like creating babies or others applicable for conventional family. Group A's argument is if you don't aim at making babies why call it marriage? Call it something else. Group B's argument is why not include everyone in the institution of marriage? Both perfectly reasonable arguments from either's point of view but Group A's sounds homophobic to Group B without looking at Group A's definition. Also Group B's argument sounds meaningless to Group A without the context of B's definition. I guess don't attach too much meaning to labels. It's a piece of paper after all. Live your life as you wish as long you don't interfere with others. These are always so boring. Because the ones they actually are against it won't answer or get downvoted into oblivion, attacked. I'm against gay marriage because it's the leading cause of gay divorce. My religion says it's a sin. I would never vote against it being legalized anywhere it already isn't though because I really couldn't care less what people are doing as long as they're staying safe and not affecting my personal life. In saying that though I would not vote for it, I don't care either way. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.